Welcome to the Commercial Brokers Association's class on navigating commercial real estate financing for your clients. My name is Mike Garner. I'm happy to be your presenter today. This is a three-hour class. If you stay for all three hours, you complete and pass the quizzes and satisfy the other requirements as established for your uh, profession, you will receive three clock hour credits for this class. By way of background, I am a recently retired attorney I practiced for about 43 years. Uh, more than 40 of those were here in the Seattle area. My emphasis was on commercial real estate with three primary areas of focus, purchase and sale agreements, leasing, and then of course, real estate financing. I represented over the course of that, my practice, both lenders and borrowers, uh, buyers and sellers. I like to think that I'm conversant with all aspects of the transaction that you'll be um, going through with your clients as you move forward and your clients purchase properties and need financing to obtain purchase money loans. I probably have a little bit more background representing borrowers than lenders and slightly more experience representing borrowers rather than sellers, but I think I still bring a pretty well-balanced perspective to the course. My objective in teaching this course is first of all to familiarize you with the most common financing methods and to explain to you the lending process from the lender's perspective. What I'm assuming here is that most of you will be representing uh, buyers, uh, and some of you will have first-time buyers who haven't gone through the real estate financing process before. I think the value you can contribute at that point is if you can tell your clients in advance what to expect, both the actual requirements, the time frames that uh, are gonna be necessary to complete and satisfy those requirements, how they all tie together. So basically along the process, when you probably have a very anxious client who's concerned, is all this gonna to come together? I'm gonna to get my financing, will I close the loan and buy this property? You can give your client the assurances he or she needs that yes, they're in good hands. If they follow you, you're gonna get them across that finish line. I wanna give you both the on the ground details of the lender's requirements. Uh, I'll walk through very specifically what most lenders require with most real estate financing loans today. And at the same time, I wanna give you the uh, 30,000 foot view of certain issues of concern for the borrower, uh, most particularly the personal liability issues that might arise with respect to having to repay the loan or if there's any concerns regarding their uh, obligations on environmental indemnities. Again, what I wanna do is enable you to guide your client through this loan process. They'll know what to expect, what they should prepare for, and again, what you can do to help to lessen the pressure on them and so they can go forward. A side note before I get into the re de real details here, despite the fact that I'm trying to teach this as a very practical course, again, uh, giving you tools you can use to go forward and aid your clients, I want to encourage you to keep in mind, first and foremost, the ethics and the professionalism that, is ex that are expected of you as you go through this. In the 40 years that I've been practicing, the standards, I think, of both ethics and professionalism have risen substantially in the real estate community, particularly on the commercial side. I think there, you have fewer people today who are trying to cut corners. Everyone tries to adhere to the same standards. Uh, and it's important to you, uh, as you know, if you make one mistake, you do one Thing wrong or cut corners or you know break your word to someone, your reputation is tainted for a long time, perhaps for the rest of your professional career. So bear in mind, you're thinking long term, you've taken obligations, you have ethical concerns, ethical obligations, be sure and follow through with those. Mm -hmm. 